Hi, this is Richard from Richard Baird Digital. Today we're going to look at how to make a new page or to edit a page in WordPress. Log into your WordPress account and in the dashboard we can move down the left side until we get to pages. There's all pages or add a new page. Let's just click on all pages. This takes us into the page section. These are a list of pages I've got in my website. So we'll click on what we do and you'll see there is edit, quick edit, trash or view. We'll click on edit. Okay, in my what we do page, at the top there is the heading, so you can change that to whatever you like to call your page. Then this is the main content of the page. So we type in there whatever we want to show up on the website. There's two views for this, the visual view and the text view. The text view you probably won't use because that is all the HTML code. In the visual side, it's more like a text edit, like Word, where you can see your text and you can change what you need to. So we've picked the word design, we can make it bold, we can make it italic. We'll also change the color of it. So it's very simple to use. If you're used to using Word, then you can use this side of it. We can easily change the position of the text back to the left. We can also add a link, a hyperlink, so we can get to another page. When you mouse over the little icons, up will come uh, information about what they are, so you just need to read that, and it's not very hard to figure out. On the right side of the page, we have the page attributes. This is a parent page which means it's its own page. If it was in a drop-down menu, then you'd be able to pick what the parent page was that it would drop down from. Also, the template, it's full width. So if you had a blog, for instance, with a sidebar, you can pick that out of your templates and that will change the layout of the page. The uh, visibility is for the public to see. There is a preview changes. When we click on that, up comes the page. You can see design has been changed. It's italic and different color. We move up to the top of the web browser and we can move through the tabs to go back to the dashboard or into the view. Now back in the dashboard we can make some more changes, we'll uh, fix up that design, get rid of the italic, change the color back. Now you need to update before it will take effect. So over there on the right, click the update button, it's kind of like a save button. If you don't update it and you change pages, you'll lose your changes. Now we go up and change tabs, and there we go, the design is back to normal. Back in the dashboard, we click on pages. And we're back at our page section, so we can go through and edit a different page or create a new page. Hopefully that will get you started in creating pages. Bye.